guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 26 of Delicious Party Pretty Cares. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> my freaking hair you would do that you freaking braid go in the freaking like glasses ish there we go So then, okay, cinnamon maybe had two. One is initially with, you know, Takumi, aka black pepper. Come on, come I don't like black peppers. <laughs> I mean, bald peppers. <laughs> Is it too spicy? Ah, bitter. Okay. This is just also, once again, going to make me even more hungry because, you know, when you just watched an episode of Made and they had food in that show and you were already hungry and then you're watching this and then whatever they're making makes you hungry as well and then you're like, no, I need to record everything so I can get this out for tomorrow, but you need to eat at the same time too. But you didn't like them bell peppers. <laughs> exactly. Oh. 
<laughs> you just need to cook them well in something. I mean, that's usually what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> the green bell pepper king. <laughs> True. I mean, hey, I don't like mushrooms like that, but I've tried mushrooms. They're not really that bad, but depending on what you have with them, yeah. That just also kind of reminds you of, like, when you go somewhere, there's a... It is in every freaking friend group. There will always be one person who will order the safe dish, which is chicken tenders. <laughs> Bundle, bundle. Oh, that's cute. Well, yeah. She smells it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so, how did it go? Mm -mm. 
Yeah, honestly, it really is. God, her shoes are so pretty. Mm. No. Oh, that looks good. Huh. <laughs> you went all the way from town. Oh, God.
Well, that didn't work. Oh my god! Yeah, you just have to have them in the right foods. Oh my god. <laughs> of course you eat your hungry. Good. Yeah, it's good, ain't it?
Oh, of course it is. Once again, you just made me hungrier. Like, it, really, that looks so freaking good. I, I can't with this show. One minute I'm hungry for, like, something sweet. Next thing you know, I want something savory. Or, I, I see, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm either going to eat mac and cheese like I had last night. Um, and the mac and cheese was good, but I kind of want, you know how, like, you kind of want something more with it? Um... That's kind of how I felt towards it. And I don't know what else I could make with the macaroni and cheese. It's already pre-made. Because, um, of course, I got it from Winn-Dixie. But it's either that or eating the tattooed chef meal that I got last night. That I was like, oh, okay, I've, like, I've had this one, so let me try something different. But this was a good episode. I mean, you know, for Coconut Focus episodes, yes. The, what Somebody said it on Twitter between last night and Saturday night. The favoritism is there for Coconut, and you can see it. It's so freaking obvious. I'm not mad at it, though, because it's okay, because usually it's the pink cure that does get the favoritism focus of most episodes. Um, it's Yeah, it's either the pink or it's the final cure, of course, because we've seen it. But I do love the fact that she is getting a lot of heavy focus episodes. Do I think this is my number one favorite? No, this could probably be in, like, top five five for Kokone. I, I love the fact that we got to have a fear conquering episode, especially even if it was towards food, because yes, you always should try something different, even if it's something you're not like interested in. It's the same thing with like drinks. I mean, well, except LaCroix. Uh oh. Okay, so when we grand, that's like final transformation. Is she gonna look like? Cause she doesn't look like a toddler anymore. She actually looks like an official child. Child, like she looks like she's ten at least. No, no, I'll take that back. She looks like she's eight, and then maybe her grand is ten. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, like the drink Lacroix. I, I, I I've tried it once, and I didn't like it. I, I'm so used to like soda and flavored water that like when I had it for the first time and like you know how it's like a, a carbonated drink with a hint a hint of whatever and when I drink something that's like that I'm looking for that hint I don't taste the hint I just taste carbonated water and in my opinion carbonated water by itself is not the greatest but of course everybody has their favorite thing so I was like mm -mm, I, I could never drink that again I had that once and one time in my life and I will never drink that ish again but I do like completely understand with <laughs> with Kome Kome and Kone about the things because yes we've all had something that we all don't like when we were kids and now we kind of like it like I I'm a little like bias like I have a friend who does not like pizza and I'm like how do you not like pizza I was like that, that's like the greatest thing on earth like uh like yeah I don't like mushrooms still like that but I will still eat a mushroom depending on how it's cooked um I don't like oh my god okay like I used to like watermelon don't like watermelon like that anymore I think the the taste is like kind of weird to me I'm weird, once again. This is the same girl who, and I know I'm probably going to get judged for this. I've I've gotten judged with my family. Um, so, as, like, even though I am still vegetarian and stuff, and I will occasionally eat meat, um, and it's, I don't like chicken on the bone that much. Like, it, it's just too much, and then I'm like, eh, no, I don't want that. Oh, I got hella judged for that. <laughs> hella judged and I, I was like well it's because things that I used to like as a kid I ain't gonna like now <laughs> it's one of them so my family's looked at me like what so anytime even now I will still be that girl or person who will order the chicken tenders 
<laughs> but I will also still try something different because it, there's never nothing wrong with trying something different. You might actually order it. You know, I mean, you only, like, if you go to a restaurant and they don't have, like, your usual anymore, then yes, that's when you're supposed to try something new. But if they have a usual, always stick to a usual unless you get bored with it. But yeah. Moral of the story is, try new freaking things. Other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episode 26 of Delicious Party Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all later on Saturday or Sunday morning. Afternoon, maybe. For episode 27. Bye, guys.